I'm excited to be able to you know, hop right in and uh, be able to provide what I can provide. You mentioned the, the lineup. Uh, how exciting and how dynamic you think it could be you there with Luis, one and two maybe, uh, and then the guys start coming behind yeah, uh, you. You know, let's just skip patrol, but uh, you know, man, I'm just you know thankful and uh, you know happy to be able to you know be in a, in a, a situation where you know I can you know continue to be you know have success uh, and being around you know guys like him and uh, guys that's in the lineup that, that's great hitters and uh, you know a great staff. Uh, I'm just excited. You know, I'm excited to see you know what the future holds. How much do you think the injury last year just kind of affected your production? Oh, yeah, it took a toll. You know, it took a toll. You know, you're talking about the front side of, you know, uh, MCL sprain. Uh, you know, I had nothing to hit up against. You know, so it led to, you know, a lot of ground balls. And, uh, you know, but uh, no excuses. You know, I kept working. And, uh, you know, I feel good today. I feel healthy. And uh, I'm ready to go. And I'm excited. A lot of players. What was the offseason process like for you in terms of picking a team? For a lot of players, it seems yeah, like definitely different. You know, definitely different. Uh, you know, a lot of patience. Um, you know, a lot of communication. Uh, like I said, man, I'm for the, you know, finally uh, it's over and uh, you know, I found the place. And, and do you think that this was, you know, obviously the best fit for you? Yeah, great fit. Great fit from, uh, you know, from culture wise and uh, you know, uh, what's getting created. You know, I'm just excited to, you know, hop in. What was sort of your off season routine like? Uh, you know, trying to get back to myself. <laughs> you know, just trying to get back to myself and, uh, you know, get back to the feelings that I was feeling when I was, you know, when I was going good. Uh, you know, but just working. You know, obsessed with the working and uh, obsessed with getting better. And, uh, you know, that's something I was doing. Was any of it, like, rehab or is it you were kind of full go? All angles. All angles. Hey, Tim, you, you played in the World Baseball Classic back in Miami. Mm -hmm. um, did you ever foresee yourself uh, joining the Marlins back then? Or? No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, you know, I'm a guy that I always, you know, control what I control in the moment. Uh, you know, just for, just for it to happen now. Uh, you know, I'm familiar with the field. Uh, I was familiar with the atmosphere. But, uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to see, you know, see what's out there. How much would you like to see that atmosphere uh, translating into Marlins game? And a yeah, bit, uh, uh, a lot, a lot. Uh, you know, hopefully, that, you know, be able to create something like that. Have you thought about, I know you just got here, how many days it may take you to start getting into a game? Uh, I haven't. Uh, I just swung for the first time. Uh, here, so uh, first time in Florida, so I'm trying to get my get my feet underneath me and uh, you know hang out with the guys a little bit and uh, get to know the guys. And uh, but we'll see. And you never had a spring training in Florida. Yeah, I never had a spring training, so you know, I'm excited about that. How much do you feel like you have something to prove, or you have a chip on your shoulder entering the season? It's been that. <laughs> it's been that since I stepped in the league. You know, I was, uh, you know whether I couldn't play shortstop or whether I couldn't hit. Uh, so it's always been that. Uh, you know, I always wanted to be in a situation where. You know, where, where I could be great. I want to be great. And um, being around, you know, I wanted to be provided that. And, uh, you know, my last situation couldn't provide that. Um, you know, but I'm just obsessed with working and getting better. And, uh, you know, that's what I want to be. I want to be the greatest to ever do it. So I put the work in. A lot of guys in that club have strongly advocated for your signing. Just what does it feel like going to a team that really wanted you there? Yeah, that's where I wanted to go. Someone that wanted me. Uh, and, uh, you know, the Marlins wanted me. And I'm happy to, you know, happy to be here. I'm excited to be here. And, uh, you know, the conversation with the guys has been great, you know, great coach. Reuniting with Jake Berger, is that something you're yeah, looking forward to? For sure. Yeah, well, me and Jake was texting, uh, you know, before, before everything, you know, went through even a week before, even when the news first broke, we was texting. And uh, we was talking to him, talking to Nick Gordon, uh, Jazz and all those guys. So the connection's been there. Uh, so it's, it's, it's been a great fit. Uh, with Jake, he said you kind of took a sh shining to him, kind of became a mentor back in, like, spring 2018. What was it? Why did you feel that need to uh, kind of if you understand Jake's story, you know what he's been through. Uh, you know this game can whoop you up. And, you know some of the injuries that he's been through and uh, so much downtime in it, uh, it can whoop you up. And uh, you know I seen the guy that was searching for. You know he needed, he needed, uh, you know he needed that love and that support. And, uh, and when I seen it, you know it's just, it, it's not, it, it's not hard to be good people. What was the biggest piece of advice maybe you gave him? Back just keep going, keep going. It could have been easy to give up. You know just keep going. You never know what's on the other side. And, uh, and I look at him. You know, he's having so much success and, uh, you know, so happy for him.